catch me It's got a lot of power in it. It makes me feel like a... It, it makes me feel like a... And to all our viewers from around the world, we are thrilled to welcome you to the official opening ceremony of the 2023 Junior Eurovision Song Contest. It's such a joy to be here live from the iconic Negresco Hotel, right in the heart of the French Riviera in Nice. This place, which has been around since 1913, has seen so many stories and so many heroes. And speaking of heroes, we are excited to introduce you to some of our very own, right, Carla? Yes, bonjour à tous et à toutes. Exactement, Manon, Nice nous enveloppe de sa beauté ce soir pour accueillir ces artistes talentueux venus de 16 pays différents. Ils sont ici pour nous éblouir et partager leur histoire unique. Aujourd'hui, bien sûr, et surtout dimanche prochain, le 26 novembre à 16h, en direct du Palais Nikaya pour le grand show de l'Eurovision Junior. This year, we celebrate young dreamers, confident voices, and bold believers. Tonight, we are not just enjoying music, we are embracing bravery, passion, and the spirit of youth. So stay tuned and keep the excitement going, friends. And remember, by the end of the show, we will draw which country performs first and last in the big show next Sunday, as well as the position of France. So stick with us, the best is yet to come. Et ce n'est que le début qui dit Eurovision Junior, dit bien sûr de nombreuses surprises pour vous aujourd'hui. J'en profite d'ailleurs pour remercier le groupe des ambianceurs et des pom-pom girls, des artistes originaires de la ville de Nice, qui ont partagé leurs talents et leurs énergies pour ouvrir cette cérémonie. Donc oui, on va vous révéler des invités et des performances inédites et aussi une extraordinaire co-présentatrice, notre Wonder Woman à nous, Laura Tenuji, qui se trouve sur notre red carpet. et le Laura Bonsoir Carla, bonsoir Manon. Oui, je suis juste à côté sur le tapis rouge. Je suis tellement heureuse d'être avec vous ce soir, prête à accueillir toutes les délégations. Je vais vous en apprendre un peu plus sur les artistes et sur leurs chansons. Merci Laura, à tout de suite. Thank you and for everyone watching from home, remember you are part of this grand celebration too. You can join in the excitement right now live on France 4 et France.tv and the official Junior Eurovision YouTube channel. Avec tant de talent, d'invités et de surprises, je peux vous garantir que cette cérémonie d'ouverture sera inoubliable Manon. All right, let's get started and jump into our magical journey. It's amazing to have all 16 delegation here ready to shine on the red carpet and share their unique talents and cultures with us. Il est temps de découvrir les héros de l'édition 2023 de l'Eurovision Junior. On se retrouve tout de suite avec Laura sur le tapis rouge. And here comes the first delegation, Albania, with the lovely Viola Giudelli. She will sing the song Bota Aimé. Welcome and good luck. Viola vo was born in Italy to Albanian parents. She began her journey in music at just seven years old by winning a local children's song competition. When she's not singing, Viola stays active. She loves sports like basketball and table tennis and enjoys spending time with her six dog and a pet co. Albania is back for the ninth time at 
Black Junior Eurovision, they hit fifth position in Sofia back in 2015. And we are super excited to see if they can top that this year. Let's give a big cheer for Viola Giuseli and the whole Albanian delegation. Hello, Viola. So good to see you. Welcome to Nice. Ne welcome to the Negasco Hotel. Please tell us who inspired you and who shared the love of the music with you. First of all, I am so happy and excited to be here. Thank you, friends, and thank you, Europe. So the person who inspired me is my sister, Luna. And, but the person who shared the love of music is my vocal coach, and she's the one that guides me. Oh, so sweet. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> and the question we will be asking all the candidates, because we're super curious, what is your superpower? So, uh, when I heard that this edition would be called Heroes, uh, I started thinking, and I realized that everybody can be a hero in their own way. Uh, my song, Bota Ime, talks especially about this, about our inner power and our inner world. But um, talking about me, I think that my power is being true to everybody and especially to myself. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, so sweet. Great answer. Thank you, Thank Viola. You. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Laura. Yes, and I'm, now I'm very happy to welcome Armenia with the young girl. They are beautiful. They will be singing the catchy song, Do It My Way. Good luck, girls. Young girl are the girl band featuring Nen, Nancy, Camilla, Susanna, and Haida. Young, colorful, rebellious, and poppy. Young girls sing about the importance of staying true to yourself, being confident, and doing things their best way, their way. The powerhouse in Junior Eurovision participating 16 times in 21 editions. Even more impressive, they've hit the top three nine times, holding a record. Let's give a warm and welcome to Yad's Girls and the Armenian delegation. Hello, girls. Come on. Hi. Whoa, look at you. You are amazing, girls. So. We have questions, Carla. How does it feel to be the first Kills Girls band in Eurovision in Armenia? Who's your inspiration? We are so happy to be the first Armenian Kids Girl group. And uh, we um, inspired by Blackpink, Dua Lipa, Doja Cat and many others. Oh, I love to Blackpink. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and we all want to know if you had one superpower, which one would it be? Uh, I want to be a zombie because it's fun. <laughs> okay. I would be incredible. Uh, I will be fire queen. I want to um, um, control the water. Okay. Um, and I will fly. Okay, nice. Thank you. See you Thank later. You girls. Bye, girls. President of the delegation. See you. So, Laura, we can't wait to know who's next. Next up, we have Estonia. Let's hear for Arana. She will sing Oyame Koku. Thank you, Arana. Good luck to you. Estonia will make their debut at the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. 
thanks to Arana. She's from the little town of Rapina, where she learned how to play piano, compose, and sing. When she's not being a wonderful performer, Arana likes to spend time with friends, creating video, crafting, or drawing. Here, a fun fact, she loves panda, and she has an awesome collection of sting panda. Just like you. Just like you mentioned, Laura, this is Estonia's very first time at Junior Eurovision, and the whole Junior Eurovision family is thrilled to welcome them. We are sending all our best wishes their way. Hi, girls, so good to meet you. Hello. So, what a joy to have you here. How do you feel about performing at the Junior Eurovision Song Contest for the first time ever? I am so excited to perform on Junior Eurovision. I'm so excited that my country is debuting, and I'm just really, really happy to be here. Oh, nice. And what would be your super pro if you had one? It would probably be mind reading, because then I would know what other people are thinking of me. Okay, we wish you best of luck. Let's connect with Laura again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's going great because here comes France with the talented Zoe Closure. She will make us proud with a perfect bop, cœur. Bonne chance, Zoe. On est de tout cœur avec toi. Zoe is a talented young pianist from Montrouge. She has already had an impressive career, and she's not just a performer. Zoe also writes her own song. But what Zoe loves most is performing live, and she got the perfect opportunity this year as France candidate. This competition. This is their seventh time participating. They have landed four times on the top three in the last five years and even won the trophy twice with Valentina in 2020 and Lissandro last year. Now all eyes are on Zoe Closure. Will she continue this winning legacy? Let's find out. Hello Zoe, bienvenue. Hello. Qu'est-ce que tu ressens à l'idée de représenter la France en France Est-ce que ça te rajoute une pression supplémentaire Alors, je suis hyper contente de représenter la France en France. C'est comme si j'étais à côté des miens, comme si on chantait l'hymne national tous ensemble, 60 millions autour de moi. Donc, c'est... J'ai tellement hâte d'être sur scène, en fait. <rire> Évidemment, nous voulons tous savoir si tu avais un super pouvoir, ce serait lequel moi, j'aimerais vraiment voler, enfin, battre de mes propres ailes, euh, survoler la terre, euh, voir plein de beaux paysages. Euh, j'aimerais trop, euh, en fait, pouvoir voyager euh, quand je le veux, toute seule. <rire> Merci encore, Zoé, et good luck. Tu as un mot à dire à toute l'Europe uh, Thank you so much, everyone. And I'm so, and I'm so excited and... and um... <rire> Sorry, I'm nervous. <laughs> it's perfect, it's perfect. Good luck, Loe. Bye bye. Thank you, thank you, guys. Laura, who you are you welcoming now? Yes, the Irish delegation is here. It's all good vibes and fun with their ambassador, Jessica McKean. We can't wait to hear so this song. Hesling, welcome to Nice, Jessica. And it's the Georgia delegation. Sorry for the sorry for the, the mistake. 
Anastasia is the winner of Georgia Running Up 2023 Talent Contest. And she's not alone for this adventure. Her fellow finalists from Ranina, Nicolos, Karati, and Otto Baze Rashidi will join her on stage as a part of group Ranina. They are the perfect trio for this year's competition. And now let's welcome a standout contestant in the Junior Eurovision Georgia with an impressive 17 participation out of 21 editions. They have truly made their mark. But what really stands out is their record-breaking three victories. Could Georgia be on their way for a fourth victory? Let's find out with Anastasia and Ranina and the entire Georgian delegation. Hi, nice to see you, friend. So you're Anastasia, you're Nicolas, you're Otto, right? So cool. <laughs> your title of your song is uh, Over the Sky. What does what? it mean to you? Uh, first of all, I want to say uh, I'm so happy to be here in Nice. And our song is about heroes. It's about to believe in yourself that you can do everything if you believe and it's also is about self-confidence and self-empowerment i want to add something can i uh, when i listened the song at the mm, first time uh, this song really motivated me so much and this song is uh, yeah motivate all right and of course we all want to know what superpower would you like to have guys I like to have uh, invisible power to investigate all the mystical stories around the world. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Georgia. Best of luck for the 26. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Laura, I believe you are ready with the next delegation. Yes, I'm now with the Germany delegation, oh, led by Fia, who would be singing the song on a voter. Welcome, Fia. Welcome, Inis. Fia's family moved back to Berlin from Shanghai after the birth of her sister, where they now live with their two rabbits, Simba and Puschel. If she asks Fia what her favorite hobby is, the first thing she says is performing. She sings and dances anytime and anywhere. Fia is a big fan of the K-pop band Blackpink and spends her free time learning all their dance moves. And after taking a short break last year, they back and ready. It will be their third appearance in the competition. Let's give a big warm and welcome to Fia and the entire German delegation. Hi, girls. How are you? Hello, guten Tag. So, it's such a thrill to have you back Hello. in the competition. We missed you so much. So, how do you feel days before the big shows? I am so nervous and so excited, but I'm very, very happy to be here. Okay, it's going to be okay. All right? <laughs> and Fia, what is your superpower if you had one? My superpower would be that I can fly so I can get to all places in short time. Okay, nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, girls. And See you very soon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Back to you, Laura. Yes, the Irish delegation is here. It's all good vibes and fun with their ambassador, Jessica McKean. We can't wait for, to hear the song. Aisling, welcome to Nice. Jessica Mackies is from the small town of Lifford in Ireland. She's been performing since she was three, winning her first singing contest at a Gaelic festival. Jessica has won many competitions and awards. When she's not performing, she's enjoy art and craft, playing piano, football, gymnasting, and watching YouTube shorts. Ireland 
is back for the eighth time in the Junior Eurovision journey, ready to shine and perhaps take home the trophy. Let's give a big cheer for Jessica Mackin and the entire Irish delegation. Hello, welcome. Hi. Welcome, Jessica. It's great to see you. We know how stressful performing on stage can be. So do you have a lucky charm with you? Or is there something special you'll be wearing on stage? Right. So actually, I've got him. He's a trick of my sleeve. And this is my little tiny bear called Tally Ted. And he's come with me to all my auditions and all my shows. And I really love it very much. And it has a stain on its head from all the lipstick stains that I've kissed it. And uh, yeah, I love it. It's lovely, Jessica. <laughs> now, dear Jessica, it's time to ultimate question. What is your superpower if you had one? So my one's actually quite a crazy superpower. It would probably be that when I sing, the person that wrote the song, past or present, would stand next to me and sing the song as well. But the weird thing is, is that I would have to look nice every day because if I sang a Harry Styles song and he popped up next to me, I'm not going to be wearing my pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Best of luck, Jessica. Thank bye you. Bye. See you soon. Here comes Italy with the dynamic duo, Melissa and Rania. They will be singing Un Mondo Giusto. Good luck, girls. Thank you. Melissa and Rania are both contestants from the first Italian edition of The Voice Kid. It is during this time that Melissa and Rania became close friends. Also, Melissa won the contest. Their friendship grew stronger, and they both su experienced success. They both enjoy creating content and browsing social media in their free time. Italy is back for their ninth appearance in Juni Eurovision and they've got their eyes on the prize. Could Melissa and Rania be the ones to bring the trophy back to Italy? Let's give a warm and welcome to them and the entire Italian delegation! Hi girls! Buongiorno Melissa and Rania. Great to see you. Your song Un Mundo Giusto is full of emotion and truth. What's the message you want to send for Europe? Un Mundo Giusto is the hope that uh, this sick world can change with beautiful things like peace, music, friendship, uh, that they can work as medicine. We hope that everyone can help us make this world fair and uh, to share the joy with everyone. <laughs> Thank you, girls. It's truly inspiring. So, as you are all heroes, what is your superpower? I think my superpower is being selfless. I sincerely care about the people around me and try to help them when they need it. My superpower is uh, joy because uh, always I talk, always I I sing, always I do so many times uh, the the same thing. And uh, so many times my my brother tell me shut up because <laughs> I always talking. <laughs> Thank you, girls. Grazie mille and good luck. Bye. Bye. Okay, Laura. What's next? Next up, we have the delegation of Malta with the beautiful Yulan. She will be singing the powerful song, Stranger. And we can wait to see her on stage. Welcome in this, Yulan. Yulan has quickly made a name for herself in the music industry, both locally and abroad. This year marks Yulan's fourth attempt to represent Malta at the Junior Eurovision, showcasing her strong determination and limitless ambition. Yulan also aspires to study medicine and become a doctor, driven by her desire to help others. Nice. 
no stranger to the Eurovision Junior Stage, marking the 19th appearance this year, and they've tasted victory twice before. This year, they are back with a burning desire to shine and take home the trophy once again. Let's give a warm welcome to Giolan and the entire delegation of Malta. Hello, girls. Welcome. Hello, it's lovely to see you. Your song is titled Stronger. Does it performing on stage make you stronger? I guess, yeah. I feel confident and I feel so good when I perform Hello. the song. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I feel so good. It, it, makes, it, it makes me feel really good when I perform the song on stage. So yes, it does make me stronger. <laughs> Thank you. We speak stronger, but where if you have a superpower, what, what will it be if you had one? I think I would be able to heal other people's hearts with my music. Okay, nice. Thank you. Best of Thank luck. You bye bye. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go back to Red Carpet with Laura. Yes, and now we have Netherlands. Let's give a warm welcome to Seth and Yasmin. They will be singing, holding on to you. And we are definitely holding on to them. Welcome in this. Seth and Yasmin were paired together after their voice matched beautiful during the Junior Song Festival auditions. Yasmin is a passionate about singing. She also loves dancing and spends several days a week at dance school. Seth, in his free time, enjoy musical lesson, vacation, and hanging out with friends. Fun fact, his favorite subject in school is, believe it or not, mathematics. Netherlands hold a special place in junior year vision history. They have participated in every single edition since its inception in 23 of 3, that's 21 participation in total. They even won in the 21-9 contest held in Kiev, Ukraine, thanks to Ralph Mackenbach and his catchy tune, Click Lack. Please welcome Sepp and Jasmine and the Dutch delegation, please. Hi. Hello, you two. Welcome. As you know, we are all about celebrating heroes this year. Do you have any musical heroes? Um, Beyonce and Adele, I think, because their shows are amazing and their music is really nice. I love Beyonce too. <laughs> and for me, uh, Bruno Mars, because he has really good songs and I love his vibe. Okay, All right, nice. you have very good taste. Yes. So, as superheroes yourselves, what a superpower do you wish to have? Um, I wish I could teleport to anywhere in the world, and uh, my sh yeah, that. Okay. I would also like to teleport because then I can easily uh, travel around the world. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. I love that. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank enjoy, you. And enjoy your time in France. See you soon. <laughs> Thank Bye. you. Okay, some more talented performers and the delegation are on way. Let's connect with Laura. Yes, and it's time to welcome North Macedonia. Put your hands together for the wonderful Tamara Grucheska. The name of her song is Kajimi Kajimi Kui, and we all here and ready to mesmerize. We wish her all the best. Welcome in this time. Tamara is a young singer from Gostiva in North Macedonia who made her first steps into the world of music at the age of five. Tamara's favorite song is Tattoo by Lauren. I'm sure it will be bring her luck. She's already won several trophies and awards, so hope a hide for the young star. North Macedonia has a strong connection to the Junior Eurovision Song Contest participating for the 18th time this year. They are back with high hopes and ready to give it their all. Let's welcome Tamara Grudzieska and the entire Macedonian delegation. 
Hi. Hi, Tamara. How are you? I'm great, thank you. We are all curious, aside from your impressive singing, do you have any other hidden talents or hobbies that you are passionate about? Yes, I have a um, few uh, hidden talents. Uh, they are uh, drawing and dancing. All right. OK, wow. <laughs> Time to channel your inner superhero. If you could pick any superpower to rock on stage, what would it be? I would probably pick flying because I love uh, the freedom of the birds. OK, nice. <laughs> OK, thank you, Tamara. Thank you so much. See you soon. <laughs> More talented candidates and their delegation are arriving as we speak. Let's check back in with Laura on the red carpet. And here comes Poland on the red carpet. Give it up for Maya Kujewska. She here to sing, I just need a friend and make Poland proud. Good luck and welcome in Nice. Maya is from a really teeny village in Poland and calls herself Maya from the end of the world. And there, she's ready to shine on our amazing stage. Besides singing, she enjoys dancing in the air, as she calls it, and has become a great aerial sick performer. Here comes Poland marking their 10th appearance at Junior Eurovision. They've not only participated but also host this event twice and get this they won it back to back. Let's give a big cheer for Maja Krzyzweska and the World Police delegation, please. Hi, welcome, Maya. Hello. <laughs> We've all been enjoying your song, I Just Need a Friend. Can you share with us the story behind it? Mm, this song is about friendship and how important it is to have friends around you. And um, friends, in my opinion, can be your parents, your siblings, or sometimes your pet. Thank you. Okay. So cool. So, Maya, or is it Maja? I don't know. Uh, Maya. Maya. All right, Maya, let's dive into the world of superheroes. If you could have one superpower, which one would you choose? Mm, I think um, I would choose be invisible because I could go to the recording studio of Ariana Grande and I will learn how she mm, produced her music. Okay, very good choice. Thank you so much, Maya, and we wish the best of luck. Bye-bye. <laughs> and the fun continues with more talented performers and the delegation making their way here. Let's go back to Laura to see who's arriving next. And now let's give a big welcome to Portugal and say hello to the wonderful Julia Machado. She will be singing Where I Belong. We cannot wait for a performance. Welcome in this, Julia. Julia is originally from New Jersey, USA. She moved to Portugal at 12 to chase her dream of competing in the Voice Kids Portugal. She won the show in 2023 and was chosen to represent Portugal in this year's Euro Junior Eurovision. Julia is also a passionate surfer, often seen at the famous Nazare surf spot. She sure is ready to make waves. Here we have Portugal gracing the Junior Eurovision stage for the seventh time. Portugal never fails to bring something fresh and exciting to the competition. And this year, it's Julia Machado. Let's give a warm welcome to her and the entire Portuguese delegation.
Hi, Julia. <laughs> so nice to see you. Hello, Julia. Your song, Where I Belong, has, really, has a really powerful message. Could you tell us a bit more about it? Well, this music is not just about my story. It's about everybody else's story that's going through a lot of things, um, especially after a lot of things are happening around the world. And this song is not just about bullying. It's about all the problems that are going around in the world and how people are trying to find their home. And I know there are a lot of people that struggle to find their home, like I did, but I finally found it, and it was in music. And I just really hope that people find their home like I did with this music. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Julia, let's add a bit of superhero magic to the mix. If you could choose any superpower, if you had one, what would it be? It would be invincibility because I would be able to sneak into concerts and watch my favorite singers without having to pay and be able to appear and to talk to these people so like that I can learn more things and that I can help more people around the world. Thank you so, so much. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Julia. Best of luck with your performance. Bye. Time to head back to Laura on the red carpet and the catch up with the next delegation. And now here comes Spain with the fabulous Sandra Valero representing your country with the catchy song, Love You. We're ready for you, Sandra. Good luck and welcome in Nice. Sandra is a multi-talented 12 years old from Valencia. She began singing at four and has since become a singer, actress and model. Her parents affectionately call her terremoto, meaning earthquake in Spanish. And she's ready to check things up on stage here in Nice. Spain is stepping into the competition for the ninth time with a strong track record. Five podium finishes in eight appearances and the victory back in 2004 in Norway. This year, Sandra Valero is ready to make her moi. Let's give a warm and welcome to her and the Spanish delegation, please. Hola, Sandra. Hola. It's fantastic to see you here. I know that your family has a special nickname for you, Terremoto, or Earthquake in English. Do you mind sharing the story behind it? Um, la verdad es que es porque eh, yo, desde muy, 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 muy pequeñita, eh, no he parado. O sea, siempre estoy haciendo cosas, entonces dicen que siempre la lío parda. Entonces, pues, Terremoto. Gracias, gracias. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And if you have one superpower, which one would it be? Ser invisible, porque eh, así podría colarme en todas las tiendas. <laughs> nice. <laughs> gracias, muchas gracias. Good luck. Okay, Ana Maria, uh, can you translate for us? Oh, yeah, of course. She said that uh, the superpower she wants is the, to be invisible because that way she can go out inside the, all the shops and see all the clothes in everywhere being not seen. And also that uh, the family call her earthquake because she's moving all the time, like uh, the, the, the earth cracking. So they say that she's like that from very little. So that's why. Thank you so much, it was very helpful. <laughs> Thank you. Muchas gracias, Sandra, and wish you the best of luck. Next and now go. back to Laura to see who is joining next. And now let's give a big warm welcome to Ukraine. Here come the adorable Anastasia Dimit. She will be singing the song, Klivka, who are ready to support her. Welcome in this, Anastasia. Anastasia, Anastasia is a talent first grader from Oshib in Ukraine, and she has already won several children's vocal contests. Fun fact, 
Although she loves nature, she's afraid of almost all animals. Even butterflies make her nervous. Don't worry, Anastasia. The only butterfly will be the one in our stomach as we watch your great performance and support you. Ukraine is a strong competitor in this Junior Eurovision Song Contest. They have participated 17 times and even clinched a victory in 2012 in Amsterdam. This year, they are speeding their hopes on Anastasia. Could she be the next to bring the victory to Ukraine? Let's find out and give a warm welcome to Anastasia and the whole Ukrainian delegation. Hello, welcome Anastasia. You're so cute. We are thrilled to have you here despite your young age. You've already participated in several singing competitions. How do you prepare yourself and what keeps you motivated? Так, я в багатьох конкурсів брала участь і в багатьох досягла перемоги. Моєю мотивацією є йти вперед і ніколи не здаватися. Я дуже активно готуюся до всіх конкурсів. Щодня співаю, танцюю, вдосконалюю пісню. Оксана, can you translate, please? Of course. Um, indeed, I participated in a lot of contests and I have won a lot of them. Uh, and um, my biggest motivation is to go ahead and never give up. Uh, I prepare a lot uh, for my competitions and generally I sing and practice every day and dance and work on my songs. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. And now the best question, what is your superpower if you had one? Якби в мене була суперсила, я б хотіла б мати таку суперсилу, щоб одним поглядом або дотиком мого магічного жезлу зцілювати людей. If I had a superpower, I would like it to be able to heal people with one eyesight or one touch of my magical wand. You are so Thank cute. Thank you, Oksana. <laughs> it's a beautiful message, beautiful, compassionate choice. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck. Okay, time to go back to Laura, who's ready to welcome the last delegation on the red carpets. Exactly, Carla. Last but not least, I'm happy to welcome the United Kingdom with Ten Unique, a girl group with Ella, Maisie and Yasmin. They will be singing the song Back to Life. Welcome in this, girls. Stay Unique is the UK's first group participating in Junior Eurovision. Ella is a football striker from Liverpool and of course a big fan, fan of Liverpool FC. Maisie is from Essex, she enjoys relaxing at home and can twist her arm all the way around. So cool! Yasmin is from Newcastle and she loves dancing. And she also enjoys writing stories and spending time with her chihuahua Tinkerbell will be spraying pixie dust all over town for good luck then. The UK has a special journey in this competition, joining us for the first three editions from 2003 to 2005 and then making a comeback to the Eurovision stage last year in Yerevan, Armenia. We're overjoyed to have them back. Let's welcome Stand Unique with member Ayla, Maisie and Yasmin and the UK delegation, please. Hi, Hi welcome. Girls. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. So, that is the question. If you have one superpower, which one would it be? Time traveling. Right. Telekinesis. Get a new castle to win all the matches. Okay. Thank all you. right, thank you, girls. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, Good luck and see you Good soon. Good luck, girls. <laughs> thank you so much. So, Laura, what's next? Oui, Manon, alors, on a pu voir tout 
toutes les délégations ici sur le tapis rouge. Mais je crois, Manon, que vous avez une surprise qui va bientôt être révélée. Mais je vous laisse le soin de le faire parce qu'il s'agit du tant attendu tirage au sort qui va nous donner l'ordre de passage des participants le dimanche prochain, 26 novembre, au palais Nikaya à Nice. Alors Manon, c'est à vous. OK, Laura, you really know how to get us all hyped up. We are so ready for this. And now, everyone, brace yourselves for a stellar surprise. Please give the warmest welcome to five incredible French stars who have truly made history on the Junior Eurovision stage. We've got Angelina, Carla, Valentina, Enzo and Lissandro all here this evening, and they are not alone. They are joined by the ultra-talented pianist Van Toan, who has more than 9 million followers on TikTok, and you are about to see exactly why. So get ready to sing, dance, celebrate, give it up for our heroes. Des souvenirs plein la tête Mais pas un seul que je regrette Des fous rires chaque fois que se croisent nos regards Des journées à se raconter toutes nos histoires Et même si le temps passe, tu n'es jamais loin de moi Ça passe ou ça casse, nous deux c'est bien plus que ça Et jamais sans toi I'm happy to have you in my life Te serrer dans mes bras ou te donner le smile Désolé, always been so hard for me to find the words to say Un peu beaucoup no way without you Je 
voir rapetisser le sol Mon horloge tourne tout doucement Tic-tac, tic, dans mon cœur tout est magique, ouais Tic-tac, tic, tout le monde vit à 100 à l'heure Tic-tac, tic, moi mon tempo, ma musique c'est Partager du bonheur Tic-tac, tic, na 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 Tic-tac, tic, na 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 Merci on the Junior Eurovision Legacy, and it shows. Thank you, that was such a cool surprise. Carla, you can sing, you can host. Is there anything you cannot do? <laughs> okay, so, Van, tu cumules euh, plus de 9 millions d'abonnés sur TikTok, tu en as plus de 1 million sur Instagram, tu es devenue une véritable sensation. Euh, C'était juste magnifique, c'est impressionnant comme tu joues. Voilà. Ton talent de pianiste, il est extraordinaire. Est-ce que tu pourrais euh, passer un message de soutien à nos performeurs euh, pour qu'ils puissent jouer aussi bien que toi Alors merci beaucoup. Je t'avoue, il n'y a pas de secret. Je kiffe tellement le piano que euh, je peux y passer mes journées. Et, euh, mais après, c'est beaucoup de travail, mais surtout beaucoup de passion. Et euh, franchement, j'adore partager euh, ma passion à travers euh, les réseaux sociaux. D'accord, très bien. Et j'ai entendu que tu avais euh, réussi à mettre au point une méthode où, euh, dans laquelle on pouvait jouer du piano sans passer par le solfège. Oui, exactement. Alors en fait, ça fait quelques années que euh, je n'utilise plus de partition. En fait, je fais vraiment tout à l'oreille. Et donc j'ai créé Piano Mastery, une méthode 100% en ligne. Euh, et j'ai pour objectif de rendre accessible le piano à tous et avec une méthode simple et, euh, et qui permet de jouer toutes les musiques et ça sans passer par la case euh, solfège et partition. Ok, bravo, merci beaucoup Van, c'était super, merci. Merci beaucoup. And now, dear friends, I'm thrilled to let you know that we have three special guests who are going to officially kick off this wonderful event. First up, let's welcome a real-life superhero. She's not only the head of games and entertainment at France Télévisions, she's also the head of the French delegation and the 2023 Junior Eurovision Song Contest executive producer. And don't top that She's super mom and three kids. Let's give a big round of applause for Alexandra Redaniel. Bonsoir à tous et bienvenue en France. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Europe. And welcome to friends, to Nice, in the iconic French Riviera. My dear contestants, here you are. The 2023 Junior Eurovision Song Contest season is officially open. <laughs> It is such an emotion for the second time to organize this iconic event after two victories. Thanks to Valentina and Lissandro, who I'm happy to be with today, as well as Enzo, Carla, and Angelina, it's uh, the French family. Et merci à Monsieur le maire 
euh, Monsieur Estrosi, maire de Nice et président de la métropole Nice-Côte d'Azur, et à tous les Niçois pour votre accueil si chaleureux dans cette si belle ville de Nice. Dear contestants of Europe, estimated heads of delegations, dear delegations, dear Eurofans around the world, on behalf of French Television, our president Delphine Ernot, our head of programs and broadcast Stéphane Sidbon Gomez, as well as the entire French delegation, we are so glad to welcome you to this uh, amazing adventure. We are proud to share together our culture, our music, and you have a superpower to unite people through music and spread love across the globe. We are passionate about the Junior Eurovision brand. Discover new generation talent all over Euro Europe is so important to promote our heritage. Heroes is a slogan of this year. And more than ever, this word is so powerful. Dear talents, you are the hope, our future. You are shaping a new tomorrow with innovation and determination. 16 heroes, 16 talents who have worked for months to be here and offer us an amazing show. For over a year now, we have been working so hard with the EBU team. Thank you, Martin, Gert, Andy. We have created a special event for you and all of Europe. We can't wait to welcome Europe to the legendary Palais Nikaya, where Madonna, Beyonce, you two have performed. We dreamed of a stage that takes up the spirit of heroes with a screen shaped like wings to inspire you, to give you strength and power. Get ready for a week full of surprises as you join us alongside Olivier Min and Laurie Tillman, our host, and Ophenia our digital ambassador. Merci à ma French Dream Team. Pour nous, c'est la dernière ligne droite après de longs mois. Et c'est une très, très grande fierté de partager tous ces moments avec vous. Creation, inspiration, power, determination. Enjoy each moment, my dear contestants. Make the Junior Eurovision contest shine like never before. Let the competition begin. Good luck to everyone. May the best performers win. Believe in your dreams. Believe in yourself. You are the true heroes. Europe. Are you ready? Vive la musique et vive l'Eurovision Junior 2023! Merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup Alexandra. And now let's welcome the man who's made all of this possible right here in Nice, the president of the Nice Côte d'Azur Metropole and the mayor of this stunning city that's our home for this year's event, Monsieur Christian Estrosi. Bonsoir et bienvenue à toutes et à tous à Nice. C'est un tel bonheur d'accueillir l'Eurovision Junior on a tant d'émotion. Welcome to everybody. That's amazing to receive you in Nice. And thank you. Thank you, Carla. You know what you are talking about? You were in their shoes not so long ago. You're from Nice. And believe me, we are very proud to have you hosting the opening today in what is maybe one of the most famous palaces in the world, the Negresco. And first of all, I'd like to welcome you all to Nice, Europeans and your fans, whether you are here with us or watching from all around the world. Today begins one of the biggest kids singing competitions in the world. For a week, Nice will not only be a big sports city with the grand ar arrival of the Tour de France next summer, not only the capital of the ocean with the United Nations Conference on the Ocean in 2025, not only a great city of culture, gastronomy, and creation. For a week, Nice is the youth 
and music capital of Europe. Thank you to the young artists who are here representing them, their countries. I want to say to all 16 teams, you will be making history in one of the most prestigious musicals in France, Palais Nicaya, a place where all the legendary singers and stars and many others, referred to by Alexandra, sang before you. You are going to have a busy week. I hope you get a chance to discover Nice. There's a lot to enjoy and a lot to see from the Mediterranean Sea to the Alps Mountains. I hope to, you enjoy my city. Nice is yours for a week. And I also want to warmly thank the EBU and France televisions for their trust. I wish you all good luck, but you won't mind if I say a special word to Zoe Closure, representing France, go Zoe. We can make two in a row. Have fun and have a great week, everybody. Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. I am now very pleased to welcome the Junior Eurovision Song Contest Executive Supervisor, Martin Osterdal. Bonjour tout le monde. We are really excited to be here in Nice to stage the 21st Junior Eurovision Song Contest. Firstly, I'd like to say it's great to bring a Eurovision event back to the French Riviera again. Last time was 62 years ago. Can you believe it? It was the Eurovision Song Contest that was held in not so far away Cannes, hosted in, which also hosted in 1959. So it's been a long time coming. This is a beautiful city, and we are most grateful to Mayor Estrosi for your warm welcome and for embracing this event. We know that all the 16 participants will have a wonderful time as the sun shines down on them this week and the world will be watching your city. Last year, we received votes from 188 countries and the show reaching 34 million people on television and online. This year's event will be very special as France Television hosting for the second time in three years. You have once again assembled a dedicated and talented team led by Alexandra Red, who have chosen a very apt theme, heroes. We know that all of you artists will be inspired by the colorful, creative concept and the theme of this year's show. As they represent their country on a global stage, they will all be heroes. On behalf of the EBU and all the delegations taking part, I'd like to say merci mille fois to all of the team from France TV. Your hard work, your creativity and dedication will bring joy, inspiration and entertainment to millions of viewers watching from around the world next Sunday. It is a huge task organizing the Junior Eurovision Song Contest once, but to do such an incredible job just two years after you hosted last in Paris has been a great achievement. You should be very proud. We're also excited that this year, for the very first time, all of the so-called Big Five countries will be represented at the Junior Eurovision Song Contest. France, Germany, Spain, Italy, and the United Kingdom have all taken part before, but never together. So it's fantastic that they've brought their best of their young talent here to Nice. And we are thrilled to welcome a brand new country and broadcaster to the Junior Eurovision Song Contest as ERR from Estonia make their debut in the, in the event. A warm welcome to Estonia. We're immensely grateful to all the delegations taking part this year and for their cooperation and preparation and wish every artist bon chance. The Junior Eurovision Song Contest, like its big brother, shows the power of public service media working together to create spectacular television. At a time when we see so much division, this show celebrates what we have in common and provides a place for young artists to forge friendship across borders. We will hear songs in 15 different languages this week in Nice, but across the world, thanks to the Junior Eurovision Song Contest, 
Children and adults alike will be united in one universal language, music. I wish you all a great show. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone here. It really does take a whole team to pull off such an amazing event. And hey, it's also happening because of you. You are totally into your comments and can't get enough of your thoughts. Now, let's swing over to Laura, who's got the scoop on how we can keep this awesome conversation going. Merci, Manon. And yes, we have the super power of being all connected with our social channels. So please, share your feelings, say hello, cheer on your favorite heroes on Facebook, X, TikTok, or Instagram with the hashtag GESC2023. We love it. Back to you, girls. So, Carla, we've had an incredible time so far, meeting all these talented candidates. What's next on our list? Simple, let's take a moment to recap the amazing song from all 16 delegations in this year's Tuna Eurovision. Fantastic idea. And don't go anywhere because right after this, we are diving straight into our the allocation draw. Stay tuned and enjoy. with me I'ma do it my
Fingers crossed for all those amazing performers. All right, it's time. We are going to explain everything to you about the much-awaited running or the draw. Okay, first of all, France, the host country, c'est nous, is going to draw its spot in the lineup and then get ready for more excitement and we find out which country will be our opening and which one will be closing the show on Sunday. Are we ready? Absolutely. <laughs> Let's get this draw started. And who better to do it than last year's winner, the incredibly talented Lisandro. Welcome he's, to Lisandro. He's going to take the lead on this. So first, we will draw a number from 1 to 16 among the orange balls. And that number will determine the exact position where France will perform in next Sunday's show. Nous allons procéder au tirage au sort de la position de la France dans notre show de dimanche prochain. OK, let's do this. Lissandro, go ahead. All right. And France will be taking the stage at position number 12. La France se produira en 12e position. Fantastic. Now it's time to find out which country will have the honor of opening the show and performing in the first position. In the blue balls, I've got the names of the all participating countries, France excluded, since we just determined their position. Let's dive in and pick one, Lissandro. Découvrons maintenant quel pays aura l'honneur d'ouvrir notre grand show de dimanche prochain. Lissandro, c'est à toi. Here we go. It's I'm curious. Spain! And congratulations! C'est l'Espagne qui décroche la première position. Bravo! And finally, let's see which country will have the honor of closing out our spectacular show. Et enfin, voyons quel pays va clore le show. Okay, let's go, Lissandro. You can pick it up. And it's Netherlands. Congratulations, Netherlands. You will close the show next Sunday. Félicitations, c'est les Pays-Bas qui décrochent la 16e position et qui nous offrira la dernière chanson en compétition de notre show. Merci, Lissandro. Merci, Lissandro. We've had an incredible time today, and now all that left is to wish the very best luck to all of our talented performers for the big show next Sunday. In just a few hours, we'll be revealing the complete running order of the Junior Eurovision Song Contest on juniorurovision.tv and across all of our all social media channels, so make sure to stay tuned. Bye-bye. Next Sunday is said to be an unforgettable adventure for all of our young heroes, as well as for all of us here, and for all of you watching from every corner of the globe. We encourage you to cheer on your favorite song and performer, and don't forget to cast your vote starting from this Friday, 24th p.m., 24th at 8 p.m. Central European time. And of course, set your alarms because... The 26th of November at 4 o'clock Central European time. We can't wait to share this magical experience with you all. Until then, take care and see you soon. Okay, can all our awesome performers come back up here on stage? That's right, every single one of you. And hey, we can't forget our French superheroes. Lissandro, Carla, you're here. Angelina, Valentina, and Enzo, get her back here. 
Okay, they are all going to rock out this year on them, our common song heroes. It's all about being brave, being bold, and having a blast. So let's show everyone what being a hero is all about. Uh, come on stage, guys, come on stage, everyone, okay. A huge thank you to our fantastic team behind the scene for making all of this magic happen. And a big high five to our wholesome coast today, the queen of the red carpet, Laura, you rock girl. See you very soon. Is everybody he is here? Yeah? Okay, here comes Heroes. If you believe 